grams of rolled oats, uh, some uh, sultanas and some cinnamon mixed with some almond milk. Perfect for the morning. Get it up, get it done, get it down there. Yeah. Cool. Okay, a lot of these vlogs are going to be based around my life, what I do, what I do at work, uh, some nutritional tips, some ideas, some training stuff as well, uh, a lot of stuff for my clients and my family. So anyways, here we are, underground gym, we're going to see what's going on in here. Uh, this is it right behind here. Okay, you ready? Time to be inspired. Start of things to come, here we go, this is the reception. Look, look watch how he greets these guys here, look, watch how he greets them. It's all about customer service right oh, yeah. here, yeah. yeah oh, it's definitely. been 100, what, customer service 101 right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is one of the things that goes on. Girls hanging around the walls. Other girls watching, other girls hang around the walls. Even guys watching girls hang around the walls. It's great. Over there we've got Ross, Emma, PT session in the house. Ready to meet the Paddy. There he is. Yo. The, the other cog in the, the other cog in the wheel. An integral part of the business. The man, the numbers man. Adam McGuinness. It's me. <laughs> right. Two, two, two for one. Let's get you up on the scales. Oh, you know what I have found out yesterday? Ah, bollocks. Ashley? Scales? <laughs> let's, let's go, Danny. This, right, is going, so, going to go live. this is going live, right? Is so you go. Here we go. We're with Mark Woolley, right, from Electric, the man, the myth, the legend, right now. What's kept you away from the gym for so long for the last three weeks? Well, I've only been out for three hours. I was obviously here doing my first workout this morning, and now I'm just here for my second one. <laughs> So, Tanita Scales are a big part of what I do at Soul Gear Ultimate Training. I like to check that my clients are on point, you know, making sure that they're uh, increasing lean muscle and, you know, working towards, you know, uh, reducing their body fat levels. And this is a good way of me checking how they're getting on. So, I'm going to see how Danny's done. He's supposed to be good for a week, as you just saw. He said he had a bad day yesterday, which doesn't really, uh, it's not going, to do, not going to be too much of a dent in what he's done if he's had a good week. So, let's see what he's got. Okay, so the body fat, uh, the, uh, body fat result didn't really shift too much, but we'd lost half a kilo in weight, so I wanted to see where that came from. So uh, we got the tape measure out, and we wrapped around his waist, and we'd lost three and a half centimeters around his waist, which is probably the problem area for Danny, and most guys, to be fair. So it was really good to sort of see there's been a bit of a change in there. Um, and the chest has increased as well, so he's been doing quite a bit of ch uh, chest work recently as well, and he's got a bit more muscle on there. So hence the reason why the weight hasn't really shifted that much. Uh, One of my clients trying to hide out in a corner, Ashley Khan. So far, so good. Productive morning. Um, Danny's done really well, so that was good. Three and a half centimetres in a week, which is giving him that little bit of a motivation to sort of keep going with what he's doing. Uh, by his own admission, as well, he's had a bit of a, you know, uh, he had a bit of a relaxed night last night. Uh, hit Peace Express, so. You know, he uh, he realises the you know the, the ramifications of sort of when he hit these kind of like pizza orientated plastic places. You know, it's very hard to sort of stay away from the doughy products, which we sort of want to tend to stay away from when we're doing this sort of training and this sort of plan, really. Um, but anyway, three and a half centimetres is no joke in a week. He's good. He's inspired. I'm inspired. It's all good. Again, Joby, once a month I like to do this to see exactly where I am personally. Um, as you see, I, I, I keep my ass in the gym daily, um, so I put and I eat, you know, a good, well balanced diet as well. So anyway, let's see where we are. Okay, so here we go. So right, so that's my height there. My body fat is six point six. My fat-free mass is seventy six point six five. 
Um, my base warm metabolic rate is 2196 2, calories. That's what my body needs to be uh, have a minimum amount of calories at rest. My weight is 82 kilos, fat mass is 5.42, total body weight, uh, total body percent of water is 68.2. Okay, so go through here. This is a great thing about the tinnitus as well. I can also like find out where I actually am, uh, if I'm overdeveloped or underdeveloped on either side. So my legs look pretty symmetrical there, which is cool. Fat rating, this, this green is the norm, or the comprehensive fat raising, uh, rating. My trunk is minus four, left arm minus three, right arm minus three, and my legs are minus two. So they're very, they're very, very much under the sort of comprehensive range, which is good. Um, muscle, this wants to be pluses. As you see, I'm fairly symmetrical there. My rating, yet again, in the pluses, okay, so I'm over the over the sort of comprehensive range for my average height and weight. Okay, visceral fat which is a really good one, okay, which is three. So this is the fat that's actually surrounding the uh, the uh, abdominal in the abdominal, the internal organs. All right, so that's a very that's a very very crucial one there. All right, there we go. So that's my rating, six point six percent, not bad. Forty one this year. Do what this next two weeks. Happy days. Time to work on some uh, muscle ups and some handstands. Uh, two bodyweight exercises that I think are great. Um, muscle ups are very challenging, very tough. Um, I tend to dip over on my right arm a little bit at the moment. I've got a slight injury in that right arm, so um, you might see that in the video. But I'm trying to get more than four or five out today and a bit of handstand work as well. So let's see how we get on. Um, I do get a lot of stuff from, delivered from Abel and Cole, but sometimes I just run out. When I can, I'll come to the local sort of farm shop, which is just down the road for me. They sell good, fresh food, um, and it's probably as close to its most natural state. So if you get the opportunity, get yourself down a farm shop and get yourself buying some of the, the, the fruit and the meat from there. <laughs> 